My name is Tracy McWhorter, and I'm the author of By Any Greens Necessary, A Revolutionary Guide for Black Women Who Want to Eat Great, Get Healthy, Lose Weight, and Look Fat. I came up with the title of By Any Greens Necessary, just, it actually, the title just came to me, but it was a result of me wanting to find something that represented urgency, that represented health, that represented healthy plant-based foods, that represented blackness in that we are in a health crisis and I wanted the name to represent that we eating plant-based foods can help get us out of this health crisis. Most folks know Malcolm X's term that he popularized by any means necessary and so I really mean that we can have a healthy revolution in our communities by any means necessary. This book is so important to do because we need to understand that we have choices. We can choose to be healthy. This message, my book, is all about presenting people with information that they probably are not getting other places. The science is there proving for more than four decades that plant-based vegan foods are the healthiest foods to eat. Science is there, it's just not promoted. And so my book is a kind of one-stop shop for people to understand why they should eat more plant-based foods, why they should eat meatless meals more often, or go all the way and become vegan, and the health benefits that result. Meaning that you can live a life full, a life free of heart attack, a life free of hypertension, a life free of diabetes, free of overweight, free of certain cancers and it's all possible if you learn how to eat healthier, how to prepare the food to make it taste great, how to make it affordable, and how to make it practical, and how to pass it on to your children so that we can reverse the epidemic that we're at now where children are actually going to have a lifespan that is shorter than their parents if we don't reverse this health crisis. And you can do it by something as simple and profound as eating more plant-based, meat-free, and dairy-free meat. People are searching for the information. They understand that eating healthy foods makes a difference. They just don't know how to do it. They don't know where to look. They don't know how to season the food. This is the first book that actually targets African American women, encouraging us to consider eating vegan foods. It's the first diet, vegan diet book for black women, written by a black woman who is a vegan and is a nutritionist as well. I taught the first vegan nutrition program in the country that was federally funded. So I teach free vegan nutrition classes and I've done so for about six years now. So I know the questions that folks ask, I know who my readers are, and I address every question that I've ever gotten over the years about why people should consider this, how to make it affordable, how to make it tasty, and how to incorporate it into their everyday lives, how to get their partners to eat it, their children. So. That's why this is such a unique guide because it targets black women specifically to, to, to meet our needs and to answer our, to address our health crises. But of course the information is for everyone because everyone can benefit from eating plant-based foods and living a disease-free life. For example, Ruben Stutter, I believe he just lost over 100 pounds on a vegan diet and he proudly promotes that on American Idol and, and other talk shows where people ask him what he's doing to lose weight and to get healthy, he says he's on a vegan diet. Another person who is a vegan who's very well known is Kenneth Williams. He is the first um, vegan bodybuilding champion and I encourage people to go look up Kenneth Williams. A lot of guys are thinking that they can't eat vegetarian or vegan because they'll lose muscle mass, it's, you know, they won't be buff and strong, and Kenneth Williams flies right in the face of that because he's a vegan, he's very buff, he's strong, he makes his living off of bodybuilding. I got the name A Chicken Wing and a Prayer obviously from A Wing and a Prayer, and I say that if you think you can be healthy and still eat chicken, you're going on a chicken wing and a prayer because you can. Chicken just ain't healthy. and. Black folks, in particular, need to understand that we are not attached to the hip to chicken. You can let it go. And I will never forget, I was at a party, and a woman came up to me. She overheard me saying to someone else that I had been a vegan for 20 years. And she literally came up to me and said, you mean you haven't had a piece of chicken in 20 years? A piece of fried chicken in 20 years? And I said, no, I guess I haven't. I had
hadn't thought about it like that. And she walked away, sat down, and rolled her eyes at me for the rest of the night. And I will never forget that. It was like she took my black card away because I no longer ate chicken. And I get that all the time. Sisters waving a greasy chicken wing in my face saying, oh, I can't give up my chicken. And I understand that because I ate fried chicken growing up. I loved fried chicken, but I have come to understand, I have done the research, the information is out there, it's indisputable. Chicken, fish, beef, pork, they will all increase your risk for the four leading causes of death. Heart attack, cancer, stroke, and diabetes. Chicken is not your savior. You need to let it go. It's time for us to step away from the bird. And another thing I say to folks, they're like, well, if I don't eat chicken, what am I going to eat? If you can make a dead bird taste good, you can make wholesome, fresh, plant-based foods taste good. Blackvegetarians.org is a website that my sister and I started in 1999. And at that time, we were the first website, first online resource that targeted African-American vegetarians. And at that time, there were an estimated 1.5 million to 3 million African American vegetarians in the country, according to polls that were done in that time period. So of course, that number has grown over the decade. And so there are millions of African American vegetarians, including vegans, and there are millions more African Americans, people of color, and people in general in this country who eat meatless meals on a regular basis. So our website um, actually was one of the first to inspire and support people who are eating meatless meals and who are, who are actually vegetarian for over a decade. So I'm very proud of that fact. I've been really promoting this for a long time. My name is Tracy McWhorter. I'm a nutritionist and the author of By Any Greens Necessary, A Revolutionary Guide for Black Women Who Want to Eat Great, Get Healthy, Lose Weight, and Look Fat. And the main message of the book is that you can be healthy, hippie, and happy. You can keep your curves, you can eat great, you can stay gorgeous and live a disease-free life without altering your lifestyle, simply by changing what's on your plate to healthier, wholesome, plant-based vegan foods. And this book shows you how to do it.